So let's start with casting on. This is a really cool trick that I'm about to show you that gives you a, a cast on for ribbing that looks the same on both sides. If you want to take a look here, I've got just a simple plain two by two rib with, done with a normal cast on or, or the most typical cast on that people use, which tends to be a continental or long tail cast on. And as you can see, this cast on has a right side where it looks really great with the knit fabrics, but it's also got a wrong side that looks like a series of pearl bumps. And it's not quite as pretty at the bases of the knit fabrics, of the knit columns here in the ribbing. So how do you avoid doing that? Well, the trick that I'm about to show you, you end up with ribbing that has this cast on edge, where you've got the same good looking right side of the, of the cast on edge that looks great on the, on the, uh, on the knit columns, but and it looks the same from both sides. So you alternate between knits and pearls casting on. So I'll just, get, I'll just go ahead and show you how to do that. If you want to take a look, this is the regular way that you would do a knitted cast or a, a long tail cast on. And typically you would do a long tail cast on with literally just a long tail of the same working yarn. But just to show you a little bit more clearly, I'm going to use two different balls of yarn so you can see what's happening at the bottoms of the loops. So I'm just going to make a slip knot just by crossing the yarns over and then pulling the yarn through. I'm going to place it on my needle. Okay. And I'm going to set up my yarns. So imagine that the white yarn is the working yarn and the dark yarn is the tail of the yarn. So a regular cast on or a regular long tail cast on goes like this. And I'm just going to clear this out here so you can see this a little bit more clearly underneath against the tablecloth. So a regular long tail cast on goes like this. You insert the tip of the needle into that first loop, grab the loop closest to you of the working yarn and pull it through and then drop the loop off your thumb and tighten up. So again, you just insert your needle, grab the closest leg, pull it through and tighten up. And you would continue doing that. So you can see here, I'll just cast on a couple more stitches so you can see what's going on a little bit better. So you can see here that your tail yarn forms this nice corded little edge here. But what happens is that on the back side, that corded edge shows, the reverse side of that corded edge shows, which is just these pearl bumps. And that doesn't look so great. Uh, it doesn't work that well with knit fabrics. So instead, here's what you can do. You can take, I'm going to make another slip knot here. And again, imagine that you, know, you would do this with just a long tail of your entire working yarn. Again, the white yarn is going to be the working yarn, the end that's attached to the yarn ball and the brown end is going to be the yarn tail. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to start as normal and you want to have your ribbing pattern in mind when you do this, whether it's two by two rib or four by four rib, um, you want to have your, your ribbing pattern in mind. So let's say that our rib is a, is a three by three rib. So we have three knits and then three pearls, three knits and three pearls. Well, I'm going to cast on three stitches that are knitted just in the normal way. One. Well, your, your, first, your first stitch on the needle, which would just be a fold of the fabric if you were, or excuse me, a fold of the yarn if you were uh, just working with one continuous yarn. You've got your first stitch, two, and then three. And now you're going to cast on kind of exactly backwards from what you do for the typical long tail cast on. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your needle, go all the way to the back, and insert your needle from the back to the front of the loop furthest away from you on your index finger. Okay, Wrap the closest loop of the tail yarn, of your thumb yarn, over the needle, and then pull it back through. Drop the loop off your index finger and tighten up. So again, from back to front, grab the yarn, pull it through. From back to front, grab the yarn and pull it through. And so now we'd start with knits again. So it would be on the thumb, pull through again, pull through again. So then three more purl stitches. Back to front, grab the leg, pull it through. Grab the leg, pull it through. Back to front, grab the leg, pull it through. And you can see already that what you're going to get is this beautiful fabric where you've got the knits on the 
you've got knits facing you and pearls facing you as well. So that's a neat trick for a cast on that looks great from both sides.